I need to know how to fix an ice maker on a Samsung refrigerator. Putting an ice maker on any fridge increases the odds of it breaking down by 50%, though that's less likely overall on a Samsung. Lucky me. If it does leak, the thing is prone to rusting. When that happens, the contacts and gears start failing and the whole thing needs to be replaced. That's about the last thing I want to do, due to the cost. Samsung ice makers have a unique problem with the water level getting out of alignment, overflowing the ice maker. That means I get extra large ice cubes. Or an ice maker that has so much ice it is literally frozen in place, if not an entire ice maker encased in ice, depending on the severity of the problem. If the sensor is encased in the ice too, that needs to be replaced. One sign of the issue is that the ice maker makes cubes starting to connect to one big ice cube to one massive ice cube. I'm not seeing that issue. If the freezer has too much frost, you'll see it causing ice to stick together. I could tell if that was the cause if the freezer looked like a scene from the movie Frozen. Some people see an ice maker that dispenses part of a cup of water before dispenses ice. That can occur if you're overusing it. I'm not overusing it, and you're supposed to use it periodically so that it doesn't have ice crystallize in the supply line and clog it so it can't work. A relatively low ice production rate can be due to air in the supply line. I could guess if that was happening if I had water everywhere else. Otherwise, air in the line only affects it if the unit is brand new or I just restored water to the unit. You could have a lot of slushy ice because the freezer isn't freezing anymore. The defrosting frozen foods would make that obvious. A defroster heater stuck on will also warm things up. If the food on the bottom of the freezer is cooking, a lack of ice is the least of my problems. If the freezer is cold but the ice production isn't up to par, try the power freeze option to ramp it up. If I have to run the power freeze and power cool buttons to ramp up the compressor in order to keep it from getting too warm, I have a refrigerant leak or failing compressor. At least you know if that's the problem, replacing the ice maker doesn't fix it. Sometimes the cause of the ice not staying frozen is the unit pulling in air from the fridge section too. I suppose I could solve that by replacing a fan. However, it is rather common to have to replace the whole ice maker when it mechanically fails. They do that by design so that the repair person plugs in a new one and is done. Unfortunately, due to the rate at which their ice makers seem to rust, you may be replacing the Samsung fridge ice maker every year or so. Then a lack of ice may be saving me from a funny tasting glass of water.